Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk about luxury sneakers and whether I think they are worth the price. So the one I have is from Coil. Um, they position themselves similar to uh, common projects in terms of the quality, but at a lower price point. So a Coil sneaker typically retail between $250 to $300 and the common project will be about uh, $500. So they are, they are positioned as luxury sneakers, but at a relatively lower price point. Um, the reason why I got this pair of sneakers is because for my current lifestyle, I wear sneakers all year round, and I figure I would uh, invest in a pair of uh, good sneakers if, if they're actually good. And I see videos uh, compare common projects with coil, and it do seems they have very similar construction. So this is the first what so called like luxury sneaker I have. My previous sneakers are all from like Nike, Adidas, so it, they're pretty typical sneakers. And I'm talking about fashion sneakers. So the first thing I notice is it comes with a dust bag. So this is. A different from a typical sneaker brand. You usually wouldn't get a uh, dust bag. And this is definitely a thick canvas, so it's a high quality um, dust bag. The sneaker I got is a pair of black sneakers because I don't have any black sneakers, but I did have white sneakers before purchase this one, so I decided to go with black sneakers. The reason why I got this one is the design kind of reminds me the design from Meso Magilla, but of course the price is much better. And I got it this pair on sale for I think $150. It was their uh, summer sale. So the selling point or the claim of this sneaker is they use Italian leather. So both the outside is leather and the inside is leather lined as well. The I think the also is rubber also. And they do use uh, Vibram also. So it is a good brand for rubber also. Also, um, it's usually their sneakers has a minimalist design. This one has more, I would say more design because here it is uh, suede and the rest is leather. So this one has more design than their baseline. The baseline is just pure white simple sneaker. And I was wondering, this one is more expensive than a regular pair of sneaker, but like what's the difference? So here I have a pair of Air Force One, which is probably one of the most popular sneaker design. The one I have is, I think, a 50-year limited edition one. This pair uh, is about $90. So there is definitely a price difference between Coil and a typical uh, Nike sneaker. So the price for this one is lower than typical Air Force because this one only came out for uh, men and big kids, but not women, I believe. So I like the color and I got the big kids. They fit me perfectly. I have relatively small feet. So Air Force has leather as well. Um, the, the shoe, the outside the shoe is made of leather. However, when I touch the leather from coil compared to Air Force or Adidas or any other previous uh, shoe design brands I have, it, this leather definitely feels more luxurious, definitely feel higher quality. This feels like leather from a high quality, good leather brand handbags, not a typical uh, sneaker, fashion sneaker brand. And the inside is fully leather lined. Um, the back is suede, but the inside is fully leather lined. Leather lined. And 
the insole is also leather where typical sneaker would have fabric lining so i did have issue with my previous sneaker um, for example the back of the heel the fabric would rub off and break down and the insole can potentially have rubbing here and break down as well so that's the difference between fabric lining and leather lining the leather lining tend to be more durable than fabric so theoretically, uh, this pair of sneakers with leather lining would last for a longer period of time. Also, the shoelace. Um, I would say this shoelace feels more higher quality than a typical cotton material shoelace. The sole... Um, the sole, I have because i haven't like worn them so it's very hard to tell which one will last longer but vibrant is um like well-known brand most of the luxury sneaker will use this brand so that's kind of expectation for a high quality uh, shoe brand all right there's one surprise i didn't think about it so here you can kind of see the tongue of the sneaker to me it is a little bit rough if i don't wear socks if i wear socks it's probably uh, i will probably be fine because it's just leather and it, there's no fabric or no cushion so it is a little bit rough on barefoot i tried on both uh air force one adidas like all star stan smith and coil I don't think this pair of shoe, the, the coil pair of shoe, is necessarily more comfortable than the other ones. In fact, I feel like the other sneaker has more cushion. Um, the leather sole, when when you first get it, it's new. It definitely feels firmer and harder than um, like the Air Force one because it has more cushion. But over time, the leather will mold to your feet, just like other fabric as well, better, but they tend to last longer and be more durable. So in conclusion, do I think luxury sneakers are worth the price? I think the pros is you definitely pay for high quality leather. The other sneakers, sometimes I feel the leather feels like plasticky also you pay for like better lining better insole and you pay for the whole experience such as the dust bag so the whole package makes you feel like the shoe is more luxurious however the construction of this pair is similar to air force so you cannot really resole them it's not easily can be resold, but there are people out there, if you go to a copper, a skilled person, they can resold it. It's just because of the construction, they are not like good, well, good year welted. So it's not that easy. They glued um, they glue the sole on the actual leather. So when they take off the shoes, they may potentially damage the leather versus a good weld good ear weld um, construction it's just stitch on once you remove the stitch it will be much easier to remove the outsole so from that aspect and i think on koyo website there is an option you can send them your pair of shoes and they will take it to someone to resew, to replace the outsole um, so it is a service offered by koyo so if you have that if you want a pair of sneakers that can last a long time and can last resole, uh, definitely Coil is the way to go. However, I saw, I think the resale price was like a hundred dollar or a little bit more than that. So it's definitely worth it for a luxury pair of sneaker. But if if it's similar price to resale Air Force, I probably wouldn't think it's worth it. So. 
so in conclusion i do think this is the best quality sneaker fashion sneaker i have in my entire collection but it's not necessarily at this point the most comfortable pair of shoes i have because when I try it on, it's not as comfortable. And they suggest size half, because they don't have uh, between size, they only have full size, like five, six. And I'm, uh, I usually wear six or six and a half. This one I got size six and it fits me perfectly. So if you are interested in getting coil shoes, make sure you go uh, half size down. On their website, they also had a lot of information about sustainability. So if which type of company you want to support matters to you, you may want to look into that and look at their sustain sustainability commitment and see if that's the company you want to support. So overall, if the, if the coil sneaker is on sale, I would highly recommend giving it a try. And... I can't wait to wear it more and see how it will wear over time. And thanks for watching the video. I will see you next time. Bye.